The Compatible Time Sharing System CTSS, was one of the first time sharing operating systems, it was developed at the MIT Computation Center. CTSS was first demonstrated in 1961 and was operated at MIT until 1973. During part of this time, MIT's influential project Mac also ran CTSS, but the system did not spread beyond these two sites. CTSS was described in a paper presented at the 1962 Spring Joint Computer Conference and greatly influenced the design of other early time-sharing systems. Experimental time-sharing system John Backus said in the 1954 summer session at MIT that, "...by time-sharing, a big computer could be used as several small ones, there would need to be a reading station for each user." Computers at that time, like IBM 704, were not powerful enough to implement such system, but at the end of 1958, MIT's Computation Center nevertheless added a typewriter input to its 704 with the intent that a programmer or operator could "...obtain additional answers from the machine on a time-sharing basis with other programs using the machine simultaneously." In June 1959, Christopher Strachey published a paper, "'Time Sharing in Large Fast Computers' at the UNESCO Information Processing Conference in Paris, where he envisaged a programmer debugging a program at a console like a teletype connected to the computer, while another program was running in the computer at the same time. Debugging programs was an important problem at that time, because with batch processing, it then often took a day from submitting a changed code, to getting the results. John McCarthy wrote a memo about that at MIT, after which a preliminary study committee and a working committee were established at MIT, to develop time sharing. The committees envisaged many users using the computer at the same time, decided the details of implementing such system at MIT, and started the development of the system. By July, 1961 a few time-sharing commands had become operational on the Computation Center's IBM 709, and, in November 1961, Fernando J. Corbeto demonstrated at MIT what was called the "...experimental time-sharing system." On May 3, 1962, F. J. Corbeto, M. M. Daggett and R. C. Daly published a paper about that system at the Spring Joint Computer Conference. Robert C. Daly, Peter R. Boss and at least six other programmers implemented the operating system, partly based on the Fortran monitor system. The system used an IBM 7090, modified by Herbert M. Teeger, with added three flexowriters for user consoles, and maybe a timer. Each of the three users had two tape units, one for the user's file directory, and one for dumping the core program in memory. There was also one tape unit for the system commands, there were no disk drives. The memory was 27K words, 36-bit words for users, and 5K words for the supervisor operating system. The input from the consoles was written to the buffers in the supervisor, by interrupts, and when a return character was received, the control was given to the supervisor, which dumped the running code to the tape and decided what to run next. The console commands implemented at the time were login, logout, input, edit, fap, mad, madtron, load, use, start, skipem, listf, print, xdump and zundump. This became the initial version of the compatible time-sharing system. This was evidently the first ever demonstration of time-sharing. There are other claims, but about special-purpose systems or with no known papers published. 
the compatibility of CTSS was with background jobs run on the same computer which generally used more of the compute resources than the time sharing functions. Topic: <laughs> Features CTSS had one of the first computerized text formatting utilities, called Runoff the successor of Ditto. CTSS had one of the first inter-user messaging implementations, possibly inventing email. MIT Computation Center staff member Louis Puzin created for CTSS a command called RUNCOM, which executed a list of commands contained in a file. He later created a design for the Multix shell that was implemented by Glenda Schroeder, which in turn inspired Unix shell scripts. RUNCOM also allowed parameter substitution. CTSS had the text editor QED, the predecessor of Ed and Vim, with regular expressions added by Ken Thompson. Topic: Implementation. Topic: Kernel. CTSS used a modified IBM 7090 mainframe computer that had two 32768 32-bit word banks of core memory instead of the normal one. One bank was reserved for the time-sharing supervisory program, the other for user programs. CTSS had a protected mode kernel. The supervisor's functions in the A core, memory bank A, could only be called by software interrupts like in the modern operating systems. Causing memory protection interrupts were used for software interrupts. Processor allocation scheduling with a quantum time unit 200 milliseconds was controlled by a multi-level feedback queue. It also had some special memory management hardware, a clock interrupt and the ability to trap certain instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Supervisor subroutines RDFLXA – read an input line from console WRFLX – write an output line to console dead – put the user into dead status, with no program in memory DORMNT – put the user into dormant status, with program in memory GETMEM – get the size of the memory allocation SETMEM – set the size of the memory allocation TSSFIL – get access to the CTSS system files on the disk USRFIL – change back to user's own directory GETBRK – get the instruction location counter at quit Programming languages CTSS at first had only an assembler FAP and a compiler MAD. Also, Fortran 2 code could be translated into a MAD code. Later half of the system was written in MAD. Later there were other programming languages like Lisp and a version of Algol. <laughs> <laughs> File system Every user had one's own directory, and there were also directories for groups of people, who had the same problem number. Each file had two names, the second name was similar to extension today. At first, each file could have one of four modes, temporary, permanent, read-only class 1, and read-only class 2. Read-only class 2 differed in that the user couldn't change the mode of these files. Files could also be linked from other directories than the user's directory. A directory listing by LISTF 10 files 20 tracks used Date name mode no. 
tracks May 20, 63 Main MAD P15 May 17, 63 DPFASYMTB P1 May 17, 63 DPFABSS P1 May 17, 63 DPFA FAP P2 Topic: Disk control subroutines. Dump: Dump a continuous block onto file. Load: Load a continuous block from file. ASIGN prepares file for writing. APEND prepares file for appending. Seek prepares file for reading. RELRW – prepares file for reading and writing Write – write data to a relative location in file READK – read data from a relative location in file File – terminate writing of file ENDRD – terminate reading of file DLETE – delete a file RENAM – rename a file and change its mode FILDR – obtain a copy of the user file directory FSTAT – get information about a file Console commands Login – log into system Log out – log out of system LISTF – list files in the directory Input – input source code, fixed size lines Edit – edit source code in a basic style with line numbers Print – print file starting from a line number FAP – FAP assembler MAD – MAD compiler MADTRAN – FORTRAN 2 to MAD translator Load – load binaries linking in memory Use – load missing binaries Start – run program loaded into memory Save – save program in the memory to file Resume – load saved program and resume running it PM – get post-mortem information of the program in memory Patch – edit memory TRA – create transfer to a relative location in a program Stop at – create transfer to stop the program at a location Rename – rename file Schmode – change the mode of the file Delete – delete file – had asterisk wildcards Split – split file Combin – join files, also binary files, making libraries CPU – get the current machine conditions OCTLK – print memory Memo – input text files, variable size lines Modify – edit text files, similar to edit Ditto – print text files with formatting footnotes, pages Peripherals <inaudible> 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 Input-output hardware was mostly standard IBM peripherals. These included six data channels connecting to Printers, punched card readers and punches IBM 729 tape drives, an IBM 1301 disk storage, later upgraded to an IBM 1302, with 38 million word capacity an IBM 7320 drum memory with 186K words that could load a 32K word memory bank in one second later upgraded to 0.25 seconds two custom high-speed vector graphics displays an IBM 7750 transmission control unit capable of supporting up to 112 teleprinter terminals, including IBM 1050 Selectrix and Teletype Model 35s. Some of the terminals were located remotely, and the system could be accessed using the public Telex and TWX networks.
Topic: Influences. Multics, which was also developed by Project Mac, was started in the 1960s as a successor to CTSS, and in turn inspired the development of Unix in 1969. One of technical terms inherited by these systems from CTSS is daemon. Incompatible timesharing system it's, another early, revolutionary, and influential MIT time-sharing system, was produced by people who disagreed with the direction taken by CTSS and, later, Multics. The name was a parody of CTSS, as later the name of Unix was a parody of Multics. See also Timeline of operating systems Time-sharing system evolution